time to talk about this little horror show. I have seen Dragon Ball Super Broly and it is time to review it. Yes, there are ways to see Dragon Ball Super Broly right now. Broly right now. Wait, so, wait. The way that I saw this movie, it looked really high quality, but it was one of those situations where someone uh, snuck in a camera, I guess they snuck in an HD iPhone or something, and just pointed at the uh, screen. So at this point, there was one premiere of the movie, right? And they were very tight on security. No one was allowed their mobile phones in the cinema, nothing like that. And it hadn't been released in Japan, yet you're telling me that you watched a good quality mobile phone in the cinema version of Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. Without the subs, nothing like that, and you're giving a full review on the movie. Firstly, I don't think you saw the movie at all. I think you've seen all the spoilers and you've taken all of the trailers which yes it gives a lot away and from that you can kind of build your own conclusions and just ran with it because this whole video is just oh it's bad it's bad it's bad it's bad oh this is bad that's bad oh to its credit though it could be this but overall it's bad so you've kind of looked at it from a negative perspective which I know if like YouTube has kind of made things this way for you, but the movie looks hype. It's getting nothing but amazing reviews, and you're saying that you've seen it when you you kind of haven't. Now, of course, I could be wrong. I could be, and for that, I apologize. So, if if you have seen the movie, like it's anime gal, I held my hands out high for the spirit bomb of forgiveness from perfection. But, mate, this we'll carry on with this video. There's a lot that you talk about, so I want to break down some of the points. But, mate, I don't, I don't believe that you actually saw the movie. And I know there's no way that you could prove that, but let's keep going. Nonetheless, I have seen the movie in its entirety, and I can say without a shadow of a doubt, this movie is par for the course, predictable, and meh. Par for the course, predictable, and meh. You've read all the spoilers, you've seen all the trailers, what did you expect? If you do not go to see this movie, if you have seen the previews, I, w I stress this to you. You are not missing anything. He then goes on to state that if he hadn't read all the spoiler synopsis and watched all the trailers, this movie would have been a bit more of a surprise. And now, I'm not trying to have a go, and it seems really obvious, but of course that's true. Of course it is. What did you expect? Did you expect, like, ooh... I don't know, Vegito appears also? I don't... I mean, we all know pretty much everything about the movie at this point, which makes it not a surprise at all. The spoilers are out. In fact, as I sit here now on YouTube, 
there are, I think it's 45 minutes of the movie looping round and round because of the Japanese release. So when I see it in, in English dub, I've got my ticket, by the way, I imagine quite a bit of the movie is going to have been spoiled for me. It's unavoidable. I'm on the internet. It just happens. If you didn't want to read that spoiler synopsis, you shouldn't have read the spoiler synopsis perfection. You can't... It's a mute point. You've seen... You've read the spoilers. You've ruined the movie. It's not, it's not the movie's fault. <laughs> you know? You didn't watch the movie at this point. At the point where you released this video, you didn't watch the movie. I'm sorry. I don't believe it. The date... And the time doesn't add up for you to have seen the full movie. Again, if I am wrong, then I apologize. But I just don't believe it. Anyway, let's keep let's keep going. Was again, you are not. I, I have to stress this throughout this whole review because I'm really disappointed in this movie, having now seen it. If you do not go to see this movie, if you have seen the previews, I will, I stress this to you. You are not... This is the main crux of why I wanted to make this video. It's except for the fact that you haven't seen the movie. You haven't. At this point, as I release this video, you may have. And we'll never really know if you actually did. But to have seen... To have see a lowest of the low quality version of the movie. A cam copy from a premiere, which didn't allow phones... <laughs> uh, and criticize it so heavily and tell people not to go see this film or that it's a bad movie now all i've heard from people that have seen the movie is the um, the music is amazing and the animation's incredible it's like probably the best animation i've ever seen and the story though has been spoiled for a lot of people is really good and sets up for other things for you to watch the lowest of the low quality of the movie and tell people it's a bad movie is just wrong and if you've seen a cam version yeah yeah if i watched the full version on like a screen that kept moving around and kept jittering i could barely hear it or i could hear people in the audience talking yeah pretty bad not great that's not the movie's fault that's the version that you watched now wait to see it then tell us your thoughts I'm guessing at this point it's going to be negative because it's like I said it sounds like you've read the spoilers you've seen some clips and you've just ran with it like I don't know if you're in a bad place right now and you're just twisting things into negativity kind of like I am with this review actually <laughs> But you get the point. It's like saying, oh, I just watched Spongebob episode one. Oh, I mean, the animated was so sloppy with that. And, oh, God, the, the colouring, oh, so bad. And, oh, I'm just going to ignore, you know, blah, blah, blah. But I watched a cam version, and it was all blah, blah, blah. And it was all in Italian with no subs. And, oh, I didn't understand it. And I don't really know what they were saying, but I'm guessing it was this. And blah, blah, blah. You get my point. Anyway, let's keep going. They, they they knew which parts to cut for the trailers. That's all I'm gonna say because everything outside of what you saw in, in in the trailers were trash. That's all I'm gonna say. I really freaking doubt that everything outside of the trailers is trash well never mind guess i don't need to see gogeta fight broly i guess not i don't see need, don't need to see how the movie ends i don't need to see anything other than trailers. when release date comes i'm gonna rip up my ticket and i'm just gonna watch the trailers back to back and i'll be like well seen broly all right i'm out guys we've, we've all seen broly movie all the trailers everything outside that's trash don't worry it's cool. It's cool. Don't worry. Hey, hey, no, 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 no. You don't need to see. What absolute nonsense. I'm telling you right now, if you have seen every single trailer, don't go see this movie. You've seen it. There's nothing you're missing out on. 
You're just going to see some dialogue. I don't recommend going to see this movie. Now, if you are the lucky few that have managed to avoid all spoilers and you have not read anything and you have not watched anything, then yeah, you can go see this movie. But as a Dragon Ball movie, it, it was terrible. Are you freaking kidding me? This movie's terrible. First you go on about, like, don't see this movie if you've seen the trailers. And if you haven't, you'll probably enjoy it more. Well, of course, we've been over that. But don't go see the movie. It's terrible. Are you serious? I I can accept that judgment once you've seen the movie. But, nah, I can't accept you calling this movie terrible right now. Especially when you pass off as facts that you've seen the movie. When you clearly haven't. Uh, again, I've released this video at the point where you possibly could have, and that's on me. You know, you might have seen the movie now in cam quality. So, you know, bravo for that to anyone who's seen it like that. That's your prerogative. Everyone's entitled to their own judgment. If Perfection has seen this movie and he does think it's terrible, hey, fair play to you, mate. It's not your cup of tea. You said earlier in your video that you're a big Broly fan. I'm a big Broly fan, too. I love Broly. He's my, he was, he's my favorite movie villain. But there's quite a lot of stuff that you said also that I haven't shown that I disagree with. Firstly, he compares a Kamehameha made by a character to the one that Goku uses against Kefla. Again, that I haven't seen it. I doubt he has. <laughs> but uh, you know what? That's personal opinion. I guess I have no beef with that. And I really have no way of knowing until I actually see it. Broly on control, yeah, I mean, if he is on remote this time around also, like the original movie, then is that the end of the world, really? Won't he just kind of break free of that? Is he maybe more of an independent character? I don't know. I I know a little bit about the movie in regards to this, and I won't spoil it, but basically, I don't think it's that big an issue. I don't think it was really worth mentioning. Broly's kill count... <laughs> Is that such an issue? It compares it to Beerus. Um, does the kill count make a villain? The movie villains are famously not really known for killing that many people. Just for being strong people with evil intentions. Look at Bojack's gang. I'm sure they killed a lot of people in the past. But that's not really what makes them a strong opponent. Uh, likewise with this Broly. I don't think this Broly necessarily is an evil character. I don't think he's really motivated by evil. I think uh, a set of circumstances have come across and he's angry um, and kind of r rightfully so. Uh, the original Broly is a psychopath. He is just the legendary transformation turns him into a, a crazy evil doing villain. And this Broly, I don't think... Again, I haven't seen the movie, so I can't say for sure. I don't think that's the case with this Broly. I think he's driven by revenge for something that's unjustly done to him. And I don't think he needs a kill count to justify that or make him a, a good villain, really. I think the animation, the music, uh, the story, the characters, just Broly being this new version of Broly is good enough for me personally. Another thing I want to mention is a few things that he mentioned that I have been informed by other people against my will. <laughs> That's been on the internet for you. It's, uh, they aren't correct. They aren't 100% true. And I'm pretty sure I've got this right, but I won't go in. It's, it's difficult for me to criticize him without spoiling things in this regard because he says some things in the video and I haven't had the whole story synopsis spoiled for me, but I do know certain things. That kind of comes with the territory when you have a Discord and you stream. People pop things in there or send you links and you just kind of end up spoiling things for yourself and I've, I'll, be, I'll be the first to admit curiosity has gotten the best of me on a couple of occasions for a few things and some of the stuff perfection says aren't necessarily a hundred percent true and it's only a couple of things now some things that perfection says i actually can get behind i can get on board with some of the stuff he says but not a lot of it and the point in this video really is that like i've said a couple of times already is you shouldn't try and pass off 
your factual opinions based on something that hasn't happened people check out the video in the thumbnail it's a big old i've seen this or something like that i've seen it i've seen the movie something like that and at that point there was really no way he could have um and i've checked this i've googled i've tried to find it and i've like i said i found a couple of those dodgy 45 minute youtubey clips but that's because the movie's actually been officially released as i sit here recording this it's the uh 16th of december and you know the movie's out so that's that's why people are able to see it now when he made the video again it hadn't been out a premiere had been out and people weren't allowed their phones in you're telling me that in this high security environment some dude was sat there with his mobile phone getting a good quality version of the movie i don't think so i don't think so now if he had kind of played the video out as i've seen this movie because i've read the spoilers i've seen all the clips available so i feel like i've seen this movie that would have been fine that would have been absolutely fine and i wouldn't have a problem with that Truth be told, also, I actually don't have a problem with perfection. I really don't. Uh, I, I've watched a couple of his videos. I know a bit of stuff that's happened to him. And I was inclined to believe him. I say I was. I am inclined to believe him with, you know, becoming uh, homeless and whatnot. And there was a lot of controversy behind that. And that's, that's not for this video to discuss. But I, personally, I didn't mind. I believed him. You know, if he was lying, he was lying. If he wasn't, he wasn't. Uh, but I, I thought he wasn't lying and I thought he was an all right guy, but I, I know I, I'm not naive. I know what happens in the community. I know why people have a problem with him and, you know, I'll watch a couple of his videos here and there. And it was him who actually pointed me towards It's Anime Girl. And that triggered me in a good way, in a creative way. And I made a video out of it and I credited him in it. I went to him to say, oh, you know, thanks, buddy. Uh, uh, in fact, I'll read the exact message I sent because uh, Perfection seems to be one to say that he has the comments on Discord and whatnot. So I said, hey, mate, I saw your vid on Female Gamers. More specifically, it's Anime Girl. I made a video on her and mentioned you in it. But, I wanna s but what I want to say is you pointing me in her direction has opened a big discussion on people spreading bad, nonsense content. So thanks. And he said... I mean, I knew that association past that was, was gone. I mean, I know a lot of people probably messaged him or whatever. I thought it was a bit, uh, a bit rude, but it is what it is. I won't hold it against him. But when I saw this video, I thought... This is this is nonsense. This is absolute nonsense. Um, so there you go, guys. There's the the, the bleh, there's the video for you. I can't get behind stuff like this. If, like I said, and I'll stress this again, if it was just a video saying I've read everything, I've seen everything, I haven't actually watched the movie, but I feel like I have fine absolutely fine but to to say that you've seen it when you clearly haven't and then tell people not to watch it nah 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 no 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 i spreading negativity for no reason is no and guys, I know you all want to watch the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. I know you do. I do too. I am so hyped. I've got my ticket booked. I'm going to see it through an official channel. It's going to be Dragon Ball Super Broly movie, English dub, at the cinema. And I never go to the cinema. I never do. My mates bought me a Christmas present, and it's a Broly movie ticket. And I am hyped. And I won't listen to videos like this telling me not to watch it. So if you've seen it, fair play to you. I haven't seen any bad reviews except this one and this one just so happens to be the one I have a problem with due to dates and inaccuracies and that's it I don't know how to end this point without ranting on more <laughs> so guys thank you very much thank you to perfection for lying in this video again if you didn't we really have no way of telling I have no problem with you I just don't agree with this video at all so thanks guys Take care. Leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it. If you're a Perfection fan, I'm sorry, but this is... 
Take care. Zan out. Bye.